Canis Maximus here. This time with a review of the Tenergy TN269. I had a few requests a long time ago about uh, doing some battery charger reviews, and I figured I'd start with this Tenergy. There's actually very little YouTube videos about Tenergy chargers, um, although there are a few reviews on the internet. The YouTube videos tend to deal with their uh, high end remote control car and drone battery chargers. So they actually have a name in the industry, and there's actually no videos uh, about this particular charger. And so I figured I'd start with this one. It uses these uh, 18650s, uh, 18500 and 14500 lithium ion uh, rechargeable cells. These are the same cells that are in power tool battery packs. They just usually use uh, ones that are this style here, where they have a flat tip and then they just solder them together. Then you have ones that are like this, which have uh, a little bit of a, uh, a uh, protrusion or a tip on the front uh, for devices where you interchange these batteries just like any kind of disposable battery but they're just lithium-ion power cells you know Harbor Freight sells a flashlight like this um, a stick light that uses these cells and so if you you can buy some extras and then uh, even though this a flashlight would last quite a long time on these lithium-ion power cells you can easily keep an extra battery or two and in those situations or for any other kind of devices you might want a portable charger and the reason I recommend this Tenergy is it's actually worked out pretty well I haven't had any issues with it melting down comes with a nice little uh, power brick uh, I guess the big issue is is to be a little bit more on the safe side this only does one amp of output you'll do one amp independently to each cell and that's actually what it is it's two independent chargers in one uh, unit it's only 15 bucks. These are still sold like on Newegg. And even though it's like a three hour charger, ultimately that's better for your batteries. Charging lithium ion batteries in an hour, technically they don't get char charged up fully in the hour. And it, you know, you cause uh, accelerated wear on the chemistry. Uh, lithium ion batteries, it's just like on cell phones, particularly Android phones, uh, newer ones, you can go into the power management options and disable quick charging. If you do that, your battery in your phone will live a lot longer. And so that's what I kind of like about this charger. The second thing is I was going to point out on the, uh, these batteries is that on these 18650s, we have like standard, what are known as unprotected cells. I made some mistakes in earlier videos and uh, people corrected me. So I'm going to be accurate as you have ones that are smooth top, which are primarily used in uh, devices that you know where they're soldered together inside battery packs then you have ones with a little tip uh, and they're just slightly longer and then you have one like this and if we get it real close here this is actually the battery that came out of this flashlight this is a protected cell and something to keep note of it means that the charge even though this has a, a normal charging circuit it doesn't have like any temperature sensing or anything to uh, if there's an issue with overcharging to prevent it, you know, from causing the battery to blow up. So if you use a normal one in a device like this, you do need to be aware of it. What I liked about the Tenergy is uh, a lot of these chargers will not charge these super long ones that have the built-in protection circuit. Actually, let me plug this in. Here we go. And all these are like digital electronics. So they have a little boot-up sequence, red for charging, green for when it's done. So it's kind of nice. Uh, as it has two spring-loaded terminals, that's why it will take the 50-millimeter uh, long cells in addition to the 65s. And these with the protection are extra long, but I really did like the fact that it would take this, these super long cells. Uh, I've tried this cell in a few other in you know uh, standalone 18650 uh, chargers, and it it's just too long. So that's what I really liked about it. And you just pop them in, and it's a normal charger, and the batteries get warm, but they don't seem to overheat. And the way they design the contacts, it works just fine, even with uh, pretty much any battery that I put into this thing. So I wanted to make a video about it. There isn't any videos about these, and you know this thing's on Newegg for 15 bucks. I just did an internet search, and was uh, I've actually had this for a few years, and surprised that they're still selling the very same unit. So figure, why not put a video review on any of. Uh, Anybody who watches this video or any of my subscribers, you know, this is actually a pretty decent charger and it makes it a little bit more convenient to uh, recharge these lithium ion cells. You know, the alternative is when you have a flashlight like this, you have to use this to actually recharge the cells, which is uh, kind of a hassle. It's just fine, but if you have a spare battery, then you can charge them both at the same time. And I've had a good experience with this little unit. So I figured to make a quick five minute review. 
Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.